What's cracking, fam? What's cracking, fam? It's your boy, Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk with another show just for you, fam. This one's going to be like a piggyback of a video I made about some months ago. It was titled, I believe, um, The First Blood of NYC Was Not OG Mac, right? And the scenario was like this here. Back in um, 86, had a homie from California, right? He's always calling you blood, man. You blood, because I do things for him. Helped him out one time. You know what I'm saying? People want to, want to get at him when I came here and, and, and squash that shit there, right? You know what I'm saying? But he's like, man, you blood, dude. You blood. You're saying, right? And I tell him, I'm from Harlem, man. <laughs> I'm from Harlem. I don't know about that blood stuff there, but he was explaining to me about, you know, the hoods. You can wear red. Some hoods you got to wear blue and things like that. And I was laughing at him. I was like, man, they keep that shit out there in California. That shit never come to New York, right? But foolish as I was, New York City started getting bloods in there in 93, right? In 93, right? I said, NYC has changed. Why? Because back in my day that I was talking about, we were the trendsetters. We didn't follow fucking nobody. You know what I'm saying? For that blood stuff, okay, you want to make that inside of a prison for protection for the goddamn Latin Kings and yet this and shit, sticking motherfuckers and shit like that. Cool, fine and dandy, right? But we, we're going to know it's going to overpour into the streets. You know, so it's going to overpour into the streets. You know what I'm saying? Niggas love negativity. You know, niggas love negativity, right? So the video that I put up there, you got some few people that, oh, hey, say, man, yeah, um, you correct, you correct. It was no bloods and no goddamn um in New York in 86, right? I kept saying for 86 and, and um not 86 and beyond, but before that, there was no bloods there, there was no kind of crips, none of that shit there, right? But what I get responses from these little suckers out here, talk about they from Harlem. Some dude told me, yeah, man, they were, the crips was on 127th Street and 7th Avenue back in the 80s. I was like, man, you're a fucking fool. He's a goddamn lie. Why? Because that project is across the street, that project is St. Nick's project. That's my project, you know what I'm saying? We ran that whole goddamn area. There was no goddamn some kind of game that we the fucking knew about it. You know what I'm saying? Or they would've wanna they would have wanted to be down with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Word up, fam. You know what I'm saying? But um the responses I get, it's not surprising, you know what I'm saying? You know how niggas is. They wanna be experts on all this gang stuff, right? Oh my uncle, we said when my uncle came in 88 from Cali and represented bounty hunters. I told him, like I give a fuck about your uncle repping bounty hunters. You gonna rep some bounty hunters and bring from California, but if, if there's no bounty hunters there, so who the fuck you repping it with, huh? You mean he was a nut hanger from on the Cali boy? He was a nut hanger. He wasn't like me. He was telling fuck that. I'm a Harlem. We don't play that bullshit. And I really meant that shit to him. You know what I'm saying? That's my boy to this day. You know what I'm saying? I've seen him a long time, but that's my boy though. But I'm saying that blood like I'm from, I'm from Harlem. I'm not um, I'm not cut out that way to take care of some California stuff there and be on your thing. No. I could never see that, me representing some California stuff, because I'm not from Cal, I'm from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, all right? That's the way I'm from. That's us, you know what I'm saying? All the other shit there really don't fucking can exist to me. But all the people, the response I was getting for the young bloods out there from NYC, I was like, man, you make NYC look bad. Yeah, your, your, your young bucks make NYC look bad. Fuck a bunch of pussies. Mm -hmm. But what I said there, of being the first, um, Blood in New York. I'm playing joking around. I ain't no blood. And there was a blood. And I tell you like this. I don't respect all that blood and all that crip shit neither. You know what I'm saying? They out there in California doing that shit. I respect that shit. But all that New York shit there, I don't respect that. That's not my thing. It's not my generation. You know what I'm saying? And I tell you like this here. I don't respect black kings. Why? Because they let white people and Mexicans, anybody side their game. You know, I find that weakness. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep shit yourself. Not even criminal activities. But you're going to let... These white people inside your goddamn gangs, they vouch for them, right? So when these white people come inside your gangs, what they're doing? They run around these blacks, right? They go harming black people. You don't see these black gangs going down messing no kind of white neighborhoods and shit like that. They don't do shit like that. They know better than that. They get the heads blown the fuck off that bullshit. But these motherfuckers like, wouldn't be on. Um, so the gang experts, my uncle this year, my cousin this year. Fuck your family, you understand me? You fools out there, I don't give a goddamn. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Word up. I don't give a goddamn what you gang bangers in that there. If you put like this here, I, I will respect your sets. I will give respect to man to man if you're not allowing other 
people, other races inside your gang that I respect you. That's a black thing. But I look and see some dudes there rolling around, talking about, um, I'm rolling 60s. You know, they got white dudes, white cribs, white bloods in their sets. The fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. I don't respect you. The fuck out of here. With that bullshit. <laughs> Y'all real stupid. You know what I'm saying? And especially young ones who not in the gang, but trying to um speak up for them. Tomorrow, yeah, um, if you, you want to say that to a real right dude, show me a real right dude, I'll probably give him God respect because he's fucking real right. Well, you let white people size got their click, fuck him too. You know what I'm saying? And for y'all dudes out there, make his response out there, you know, trying to vouch for these gangs and stuff like that, you know, and damn well, y'all not even side these goddamn gangs. Yeah, nothing but nut hangers. You know what I'm saying? NYC has changed. You know what I'm saying? We were the trendsetters. You know what I'm saying? The trendsetters now. Ain't no goddamn trendsetters. New York ain't have a goddamn no fucking um put like this. They ain't have shit going on for 20 years now. For 20 years. I remember I was at the crib. I was in the ATL. It had to be about 2008. And I had a question. I had a question, my little cuz. I was like, yo, man, do NYC do they still make music? Because I ain't hear no, no kind of NYC music on the fucking radio. It was all ATL, ATL, ATL. Right, but my customer, yeah, but, but uh, up there in NYC, they playing down south music then, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? They lost it, you know what I'm saying? But I tell like this here, when we was on top, that's when I was there, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I don't give a goddamn about it, because not the NYC is not the same Harlem, it's not the same Brooklyn that it was before, you know what I'm saying? Things got a little um shady, too messed up now, right there. I see the little young buzz out there. They're like really some some of y'all disgraceful, you know what I'm saying? Disgraceful. Not just for the gang bang, just for jocking motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? I saw one video was this young blood. He had been, he's about the early 20s. He was interviewing some dude from Brooklyn. He was praising his Brooklyn. She told him, Yeah, I heard about Brooklyn, this and that, uh, back in the 80s, this and that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, you no. Know, Brooklyn is um, a big borough. A big borough. Harm's not a borough. Harm is a fucking little neighborhood. But we are fucking world renowned. I was watching um, Vlad, a Vlad um, interview with Jules Santana. And Ju Jules put a subject that I've been telling my folks about a couple weeks ago, before that there, about how to NYC, and about NYC, it's about Harlem. Look at all the movies that was made about Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Juice, what else? God damn, you got so much goddamn New Jack City. You, you, you can go down to Claudine. You can go every goddamn thing. Uptown Stay Nights. Um, shit. Um, um, hell up in Harlem. Um, he, he has so much of the Godfather, Fred Williamson, or Black Godfather, all the way up to now. All these um, Harlem movies. You don't see no goddamn Harlem, no other movies. Maybe Bronx Tales from Al Pacino, and I say a Brooklyn one was that, what's that, Don Cheadle played there, I forgot, it was called Brooklyn, some shit, I forgot what it was, but he played inside there, for, that was Brooklyn, but all the rest is Harlem, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, we are the, um, the Mecca, but we was the Mecca of swag, you know what I'm saying, the Mecca of swag, every one out of five bros had to come to Harlem and get what they want, we know that shit, dear, we know that, dear, you know what I'm saying, I was in high school back in the early 80s, like 81, Young, you no know, young blood. You know what I'm saying? I seen how it was. All my homies was there. We was, was a mixed crew, but three of us from Harlem. Four, four from Harlem. What else? Four from Harlem. Some Queens, Bed Stuy, and Fort Greene. That was our little clique when I was going to school. When I was going to school, it was called um, the New York School of Printing. Now they called them um, graphics or some shit like that. But it was a home of Decepticons when I was there. You know, back in um, I said '81, right? Things have definitely changed, definitely have changed. But see them, let's sell a little young blood, Jack on um, Brooklyn so hard, I was like, God damn, it was disgusting. It was disgusting. I said, he must not heard of us, the KGB crew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The KGB crew. I don't hear what that Brooklyn shit, Queens, whatever it is. Whenever you came, you asked in Harlem, you know what I'm saying? And you had on them sheepskins, bombs, shit like that, you was getting taken. That was that. Don't even, it doesn't matter where the hell you from. It doesn't matter where you're from. I done took a couple goddamn on um, Brooklyn boy bombers, you know. I was away from um, where the Harlem State Building is. The Harlem State Building, you know. That's where they had the park line on, on, on the side there. I did this building. This, this, this along, you know, I'm trying to tell you, fam. I'm talking fucking 81, 82 type shit. Just watching watch Brooklyn boys come in on Friday, get their paychecks, or just like to do. They like that PCP. They like get wet. They like smoke that dust. And I was just watching, just lamping them. Hit their stuff up. They come out and pop, 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 and get their shit. 
Not saying they soft, no, just what it fucking was. It could have been a broken boy, it could have been a hard motherfucker, many goddamn body, you know, just you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, same as if I'm gonna go out there the fucking best time, things like that. They would get me too. You know what I'm saying? About where the fuck you from? No, no, no. That's where, where you at. You know what I'm saying? But to see now, how these people um just uh, I don't know, you look weak to me. <laughs> it's like if you don't even rep that shit, you know what I'm saying? I got on my arm, you see, you got a Harlem 129, Harlem 129, that's where I'm from, Harlem 129, St. Nick PJs, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? You see the NY, you know what I'm saying? You see the crown, the um, Statue of Liberty, all that, I represent them, but I can't represent for these fools now. I can't do that now. Why? Because they, um, they're not the same. It's not the same. These motherfuckers got weak and gentrified, you know what I'm saying? And too moist. Dude's got too moist out there. It's a, it's a different, it's a different game now. But I said I, I let I let the game to the young bloods now. You know, so let y'all deal with this shit there. Why? Cause y'all ain't got shit that's going on. No kind of power that's going on. I'm saying y'all not running the rap game no goddamn more. None of that shit. It's like damn, New York. <sighs> we was the trendsetters. Now you come to goddamn copycats. For these young ass fools in, right? And like I say, if I put up some gang shit in there, I get a thousand nigglets. You know, wanna be gang experts now. My uncle, my aunt, and all this other shit there. But if I put some shit, educational shit out there about how to make a damn business, how to make money, you know what I'm saying? Buying land, anything I put up positive. You know, here's my father, don't say a goddamn thing because they don't have no mind for it. These, these nigglets gonna stand in the goddamn ghetto and pour all their goddamn life. You know what I'm saying? That's where, that's where the fuck they belong at, too. You know what I'm saying? That's where they got them belong. Anyway, I'm just going to cut this one a little short, fam. I just want to say something and express myself about these dudes here. You know, just want to be gang experts. You know what I'm saying? Don't know nothing else. Don't do my no college or, no, or learn some kind of trade. They ain't doing a fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? When you put some goddamn gub, he won't be the expert in gang shit. But like I tell you like this here. Fuck these goddamn gangs. Fuck these black gangs. You know what I'm saying? When I say fuck these black gangs, I do mean it. If you are letting white people inside there, Mexicans, anybody inside your goddamn gangs, y'all ain't shit. They deserve to lock you motherfuckers up. You goddamn right. Lock you motherfuckers and throw away the goddamn key. Because that's where you belong. That's where you belong. You know what I'm saying? You don't see no MS, Thirst Teens, ABs, Texas Syndicate, um, who else? What kind of, all these other gangs out there, you don't see them that, no kind of white people in there. Mm. I think the last group, the last um gang that blacks got there that stand in, I believe don't let no white people in, is a black gorilla family. The rest of the other motherfuckers here, they let them in. They let them in. You see them on, making videos now. You know what I'm saying about, I'm a, I'm a rolling 60s. A lot of, a lot of white dudes, I'm rolling 60s and shit like that there. That's how I respect these dudes there. I really don't respect them. Okay, with some rolling 60s shit, you know what I'm saying? We still have these rolling 60 dudes here with Nipsey. Huh? Extorting them every goddamn thing. Got killed by one of his own goddamn people. Fuck black gangs. <laughs> you goddamn right. Fuck y'all motherfuckers. Dear shit. Fuck y'all. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all let other people inside your goddamn your gang. And when you come inside the gang, what they doing? They helping y'all idiots out there, you fucking fools, to harm other black people. Why? Because y'all punk motherfuckers ain't going inside no goddamn white neighborhood. And I don't know damn sure ain't going inside no goddamn Mexican neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Y'all suck up to the, the Mexicans. Damn sure. Y'all suck up to them. They don't come pop no shit about them. Why can't you know them goddamn little El Salvadorians? They, they're about that shit. You know, they're about the, about the goddamn bone crusher game. Stab you the fuck on up. You black mo talk shit, but yeah, only in numbers. No, they're only in numbers. That's all. They're in numbers. One on ones and shit like that. You ain't gonna see too much of these motherfuckers um, holding their goddamn own. We know that shit. We see what they doing there. They always got joint groups. Joint groups. When I was a young blood, the, the suckers were joining the five percenters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Joining the five percenters. And like I say, they just had the rallies every third Sunday at PS 154. That's my project in my elementary school. So I was like, watch these dudes always. You know what I'm saying? I've been mean, knowing some dudes from school, you know, from Park West, um, down in Printon. You see the same faces. Now they join the um the five percenters and want some kind of like, like they somebody whatever they they want to be whatever but I know God to us I know this dude's a fucking pussy only way he join the fuckers he want to be down like a gang or some shit there but these motherfuckers know these goddamn pussies I was watching them come inside the goddamn park and do not know their um 
Today's mathematics and get stomped the fuck out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I used to love watching that shit. Stomp his ass out. You know what I'm saying? I have perpetrating. You know what I'm saying? I have perpetrating the fraud. You know what I'm saying? It went That's my little short one, fam. Well, too short. 15 minutes got that long. But I'm out, fam. Peace.